we see is about the system trying to make people obey the laws. That is not what we are doing. These evidence does not apply to what we are talking about. They make the arguments in cross just now that, uh, that, uh, that because our evidence doesn't use the N-word is a reason why it, is, it is, like, doesn't account for what they are doing. But that is not the point we are making. Velvix is talking about the way that anti-race, uh, the way that like movements against white supremacy are always exclude the voices of black women because they assume that they have nothing to add to uh, nothing to add to the discussion. cross prove that this is what they are doing. They only see the song I Get Out as being about white supremacy. They think that, uh, that white supremacy can encompass and outweigh all other forms of oppression. They don't listen to that song and think about the way that patriarchy could also be a box that Lauren Hill is kept in. They only assume that white supremacy accounts for everything, which is what we are saying is problematic because that way of looking at the, uh, that way of looking at the world and looking at oppression doesn't account for the for the oppression and for the patriarchy that can exist within movements against white supremacy. That means that as long as something is moving against white supremacy, they are they uh, they say that, that, that it shouldn't be challenged. That it uh, like should not, that it is moving against oppression. Therefore, it's a good thing, which doesn't allow for challenges against patriarchy within uh, movements against white supremacy. Also, the uh, on the link to the fungibility argument there, uh, uh, like they say that we don't answer their verses, but we do answer them. That was the whole point. This whole debate is an answer to their verses, which are their speeches, which are like what we're answering here. Um, and I know my privilege. I uh, you know your privilege. Well, like as the two white people in this room, I think we both understand that we have or as. A, Two of the three white people in the we both understand that we have white privilege. I don't think that I need to stand up. When I stand up, it is assumed that I'm speaking from the position of a white woman. I don't need to say, I don't need to say at the beginning of each speech, I, I am a white woman, because that is obvious to everyone. This is the reason why, like, the fact that I didn't say it at the, the beginning of my speech doesn't mean that I like, can't speak at all. It's assumed that I'm speaking from this position. I know that I am not speaking from the position of a black woman. I know that I cannot know that oppression. That doesn't mean that I cannot talk about that oppression, that I cannot like use the experience, that I can't, that like, just because I'm a white woman doesn't mean that I can't speak about it. In cross to say that I can fight for black women uh, genuinely, but they don't explain how that's different from uh, from what I am doing right now. They don't have, they have no explanation for how you can differentiate between the uh, the use of the black body as a fungible object and the you and the uh, genuine fighting for like black women by a non-black person. Also, I don't say we're rap because uh, like we are letting Lauren Hill speak for herself. I think she does a much better job of explaining her oppression than I could ever do, which is the reason why, like, once again, I am recognizing that I cannot speak from the position of the oppressed in this situation, but that doesn't mean that I cannot speak about it, that I cannot advocate for those people. Also, this is not just white women's tears or me complaining about the, like, the fact that they identify that I'm a white woman. This is a problem that we have identified with their advocacy. That uh, they claim to speak for the whole movement is a link. You, uh, they could just come, uh, they could incorporate black women's songs and voices or recognize that, uh, that they have male privilege that allows their voices to be heard in discussions of race. Our bell of heaven specifically says that male voices, that white men listen to black men in discussions of race, that that is one of the unique times that white men actually listen to what black men have to say, but that they still continue to exclude black women because they think they have nothing to add. This is exactly what we're talking about. They do at no point in their speech recognize that they might not be able to account for the oppression of all black people, that they might not be able to explain the oppression of black women. They spend all of projects trying to explain how they can, how they, how they are, how they apply to the oppression of black women, how their rhymes talk about black women, how they can and solve for the oppression of black women, but they never take the moment, and they never just take a moment and stop and acknowledge that maybe they can't explain the oppression of black women because they don't understand, because they do not experience that that oppression. Also, they continually try to claim that their that their arguments and that their verses can can like can represent black women because just because they talk about black women, that does not mean that once again this is just another way to exclude the actual voices of black women that Bell is talking about because they are not they are not actually like. What? Also, like the spin that they read in the two AC proves the, the spin that, the they are proves that they are the commodifying black, yeah. the experiences of the black like, women. Once again, they, the, the fact that they don't, so. the fact that they never like just stop and have a moment where they recognize that they cannot speak for black women, that black women might have something to say that they can't, uh, that they can't communicate in this round is the link to our argument. Their no link argument is continually just saying we are like we are like acknowledging the experiences of black women. We are. Speaking for black women as well as ourselves, they need to say, like, a real no link would be to say, we can't speak for black women, but they didn't do that. That wasn't the tactic that they chose, because the tactic that movements against white supremacy always chooses is to claim to be able to speak for black women, whether or not they actually can. Also, analysis of white religious reprodu uh, reproduction requires a critique of sexism, only the all can solve, hooks 94. 
The past several months, white mainstream media has been calling me to, to hear my views on gangsta rap after I, I, after I have my say, I'm never called black, never invited to the television show or the radio spot. I suspect they call confident that when they talk, they will hear the hardcore feminist trash of gangsta rap. When they, when they encounter instead the hardcore feminist critique of the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy, they lose interest. When I counter this demonstration of black males by, uh, by uh, insisting that gangsta rap does not appear a cultural victim, but rather is, uh, is expressive of cultural causing, mixing, and engagement of black youth culture with the values, attitudes, and concerns of white majority, and some folks stop listening to the effects of misogynist patriarchal ways of thinking and behaving that are glorified in gangsta rap are a reflection of the prevailing values of our society, values created and sustained by white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. In the reality, they are part of a sexist continuum necessary for the uh, maintenance of patriarchal social order while patriarchy and sexism continue to be the political and cultural norm in our society. Feminist movement has created a climate where crude expression of male domination are called into question, especially if they are made by men empowered to see gangster rap as a reflection of the dominant values in our culture rather than as an aberrant pathology uh, standpoint. A uh, pathological standpoint does not mean that it is rigorous feminist critique of the sexist and misogynist expression in this music is not needed without a doubt with, without a doubt black males young and old must be held politically accountable for their sexism anything else like literally all of their no link arguments are claiming that they include black women they never take a moment to acknowledge that maybe they can't include the voices of black women that maybe they can't solve for all black people because they don't have the unique experiences of oppression that black women have like that's the link just how much, how much time? How much prep time I got? You got eight thirty-six. Eight thirty. I got so I got a little bit of time. Then. So hey, so 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 if you so if you asking us to come to a space that, where we maybe can't account for black women oppression, we'll make y'all too as non-black people to be better advocates to account for the unique oppression that black women go through as black women. Because so we you, are because we both came out of black women. You do you recognize that? Right. That's an ontological we experience. Are not claiming, in itself. We are not claiming to be able to speak to our experiences and have those experiences also speak to the experiences of black women. We are just saying, we are identifying a problem with your advocacy, right? And, we and, are not and saying- this is, this, is, this, is, this is so correct. You, you, you say the problem with our advocacy is that we exclude black women voices. The strategy that you like, the way that you challenge white, like when you're like, we have to challenge white supremacy in the way I see, like when you have these discussions of how white supremacy affects like, uh, like, like how white supremacy has affected you, our argument is the fact that discussions of white supremacy and analysis of white supremacy always fail because they exclude. And you also like, the, your like, answer is by saying things like, we came out of black women as though that means you can speak. No, no, that's not the answer. Women. Isn't it? Isn't it? Hold on, 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 let me, let me ask you this. this is a, I feel like this is intrinsically linked to what, how you misguided the whole argument from June. You have not once, I don't know, maybe I missed it. Neither, from, neither one of y'all have identified whether black women are human or not. I think that's fundamentally in question and it's a prerequisite to the conversation that you're trying to have. I care if I can't speak to you, bro. Just, just don't even worry about it. I don't drop that. Just don't even worry about it, though.